What is up, guys? This is that GTA fan 720 with another video. Now, this video is for all of those people who are still running Windows Vista. There's not many of you, but there are some of you, quite a few thousand. So, if one of you happen to be stumbling upon this video and you're like, oh no, there's no more security updates for Windows Vista? What am I ever to do? Well, I have the solution. Windows 7. Um, at least, well, if you have an old machine that runs Windows Vista, then chances are it will be able to run Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7 still gets support until 2020, and because it is a very popular operating system and is widely used by most people, to this day, Windows 7 is still the most highly used operating system. So, if you're stuck on this one past the end support day, I promise there will be people to help you. Just like those people who are still on Windows XP and are unofficially getting updates until 2019. If you guys want to know how to do that, I can make a video about that as well. So, uh, if you guys want trouble installing, well, you guys are having trouble installing Windows 7, then again, I can make a video. But for now, you have Windows 7 on a computer and you want it to look like Vista. Whether you upgraded a Vista machine to 7 or you just like the look of Vista and now that I've brought it up to you that Vista is unsupported, you might want to go back to the look of Vista. While having all the support, all the stability, all the you know program compatibility of Windows 7, you will have all of those luxuries. We have Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1, 32-bit um, edition in this case. Um, so if we go back out of that, we can open up, I'm just going to close these, uh, the Windows 7 to Windows Vista Complete Transformation Pack. I will drop a link to WinClient's video who did a more in-depth uh, version of this transformation. If you guys want the simple version, here's your solution. If you guys want a more advanced solution that will go through everything that's inside this pack and just drill down and just have this big long, it'll take a while, but if you're dedicated and you want to do that and you want that Vista look so badly, go to his video. But if you want the simple way to do it, a simple skin, make it look like Vista. You know, you don't need it to be super perfect, but it'll still look pretty dang good. Here's the solution. Now, I'm going to quit babbling, and I'm going to get into it. So, Vista Skin Pack. This is a folder that will be inside the Transformation Pack folder, Vista Skin Pack. We have two packages we need to install. So, we're going to install first. In this case, we're x86. So, we're going to do that. Um, x86 is 32-bit. And then X64 is 64-bit. Don't ask me why it's not just X32, because I don't know. But it's there. So X86 is 32-bit. So welcome to the setup wizard. We're basically just going to walk through the setup wizard. Um, accept the terms of license agreement. It's going to ask you to, actually no, on this one it isn't. Um, but on the later one, it will ask you to install some stuff. Um, if you want that stuff, great. If not, it's mostly just crapware, so you can just decide not to do that. It will um, stop the Explorer EXE process. It will ask you to reboot. We're going to go ahead and reboot. And our lovely Windows 7 Home Premium VM. Again, this says Windows 7 Home Premium. We have the Windows 7 background. Keep that in mind because we're going to see what it's like whenever we boot up. This says Windows 7 in the corner. I'm not playing any tricks. You can see starting Windows, it is Windows 7. So as this Windows 7 boots up here, we will see what it looks like once we finally get to the logon screen. And you probably won't think much of it, but trust me, at first glance you will definitely think that it's Windows Vista. And so will pretty much everyone who walks by your computer, if it's a laptop anyways, and says, Oh, that's Vista? Dude, Vista sucks. You shouldn't be using Vista. Get Windows 7. And you'll be like, bruh. I'm on Windows 7. So here we go. We have the welcome screen. We have the lovely Vista Aura. We have Windows Vista Ultimate. Not even just Vista. We have Ultimate. So we are the ultimate. So isn't that awesome? So um, it's going to say welcome. It's going to get back into the OS. There we go. You can see it's going to start. We, it already did the changes for us in order to make the taskbar small, but if it didn't, right-click properties, use small icons, always combine, or not always combine, um, you want to change this to either combine when taskbar is full or never combine. I would recommend combine when taskbar is full. Um, and then this makes the, it the long boxes like it is in Windows Vista. And we're going to unpin everything from the taskbar because that just kind of 
as to it. If you want to stop at this point, you can. Because everything looks, it even has some utilities to make sure that it stays up. But you can see, no trickery, we do have Internet Explorer 8 on here. It can be updated to 11, but it looks very Vista-y, because, you know, Vista did have Internet Explorer 8. But we have the latest version of Google Chrome running. So this is indeed Windows 7. We have the new Chrome design language once it pulls up. So this is the new Chrome. It supports Arrow, unlike the real Vista version, unless you have a really old version, of course. But, you know, it's this is fully supported. If we right-click and personalize, we have this Vista theme. We have the original Vista wallpaper. The transformation pack does contain all the wallpapers, all the icon images for the user accounts and everything, so you're good there. Uh, of course, we do have this Vista theme, which we're going to select. Uh, it had this other theme. I don't know what that is. But, yeah. it's So we have the shorter buttons. Everything. If you know what Vista is, then you will know what this is. However, this bottom part is a bit different. You can install the custom theme by Pakistan. I believe it's Pakistan Edit. I, uh, I forgot. It was in the transformation pack. You can apply that theme if you want it to be 100% Vista. But for now, just to do the finishing touches, we're going to go back to the skin pack, install second. We're going to read this because I actually forgot how to do this. Place the shell 32 folder inside the Vista arrow theme directory. Changes should affect immediately. So basically what this means is that, well, you know, you place the folder inside the Vista theme directory. And I'm about to sneeze. I thought I was, but I guess not. Okay, I guess I'm not going to sneeze. Okay, so place the Shell32 folder inside the Vista Arrow theme directory. So, we're going to copy the Shell32 directory. We're going to go into my computer. This is going to be a bit scary, but we're going to go Local Disk, Windows, and we're going to go into Resources. Where is it? Resources, Themes, and then in the, what did this say? Vista Arrow Theme Directory. Okay. Uh, I forgot where it was. Oh, Vista Arrow. And we're going to paste this. Continue. I think I did this right. I don't know if I did that right. Apply this theme. I didn't do it right. Or did I? I, I don't remember. Okay, so I actually don't know if that did anything. Um, oh yeah, because this part's different now. Um, so it changed this part right here, the side panel. So this looks Vista. It still doesn't look quite like Vista, but it looks nicer in my opinion. It does fit the aura a bit better. So that's nice. And of course, we still have all the other themes. We have Arrow. That's Windows 7. Crap. Uh, but yeah, the Windows 7 theme will still work. Although, the start button will be a bit wonky um, because of the Vista style. And whenever you put it back to the full size taskbar, the start button will look a bit wonky. But, you know, whenever it's in the small icons, it looks much nicer than the version on Windows 7. So, yeah. Then we can go back to the Vista theme. Please wait. And there we go. So, um, if you're not like too hardcore about Windows 7 or Windows Vista, of course we have the snap features, we still have Flip 3D, so everything works really nice. If you don't know what Win Flip 3D is, press the Windows key and press Tab, and it's essentially Task uh, Switcher, but it's fancier. Um, it's only in Windows Vista and 7. So yeah, so we have all of that. We still have all the seven versions of applications, you know, so we haven't drilled all the way down to that. This is just a skin pack. This is just for appearance. Uh, however, uh, again, you can follow WinClient's video if you want the full info. You can see this set even says Windows Vista Ultimate, but if you read, it says the Windows 7 Home Premium Operating System, and it says version 6.1 instead of uh, 6.0, build 7601 Service Pack 1, so it is indeed 7. But yeah, guys. So this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. If you guys have any questions, drop one in the comments below. And yes, this is 
Windows Vista, or no, excuse me, Windows 7, I even tricked myself, completely transformed and skinned into the look and feel of Windows Vista. So, if you guys, if this is all you wanted, you just want it to look like Vista, and you want the speed and stability of Windows 7, and the support of Windows 7, but you also want the nice looks of Vista, you can literally have the best of both worlds. Obviously, you're not going to have certain things, you know, like certain Vista apps. You're not going to have Dream Scene, but what are you going to do? You know, it is uh, a very nice pack, and yeah. This is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. Hope you all have a good one, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a good one.